everyone to you a warm welcome to the 11th formal birthday party and uh, it's a very great honor for me to be the one who's uh, in charge of kicking off this event here so thanks for that and uh, first of all I, i'd like to thank bernard Suttner and melanie core for organization of this event thank you thank you very much and um, also uh, many many thanks to every single member of, of this great community around Foreman. It, you've all done a very great and incredible job to make Foreman and all the related sub-projects and projects this huge success. So thanks to you all and thank you so much for, for this. Um, yeah, my name is, is Mark Labacek. I'm uh, the CEO of ATIX and if you want to contact me, uh, there are some contact details. Just don't hesitate to do this. I also own a GitLab account, but a GitHub account, but that's not, not worth mentioning. And yeah, some, some words about ATIX. Uh, very, very short. So what we are doing is, uh, is automation, is uh, everything around data center automation. And uh, we're doing a lot of projects with, with Foreman. And we, as you may know, um, launched our own um, downstream product called Ocarino based on, on Foreman and Catello. And yeah, we all know that uh, automation is the key to everything, the key to, to innovation, to success, because we know manual work is, is always a bug, so we need to automate. And we, we all know that the time to deliver uh, new software and new solutions and new servers and everything is, is essential for, for our own success and for business success and for community success. And yeah, and, and we also know that experts who can do this are very very rare and so yeah we need to automate all the things and uh, fortunately we have foremen and all the projects do this for us so a huge thank goes uh, to Ohad who started this project uh, 11 years ago I, I tried to find uh, the first commit I hopefully was successful doing this so the first commit to the foreman uh, quite exactly 11 years ago. So thank you all for, for starting this and for the great work. And yeah, what is what is our part, ATIC's part in, in this community? So what we are doing is we, we work on, on Catello, we work on Foreman, we work on Pulp and then Subscription Manager and several other projects. Um, in some projects we, we commit, in some projects we report bugs and uh, are doing testing and things like that. Uh, we we own the Foreman SDC Manager plugin, so we developed this for a better SUSE integration. You could use this plugin to just uh, add your SUSE account uh, for for content management. And we also added uh, the snapshot management plugin. And with this plugin, you can just uh, do snapshots in in VMware from your Foreman. And uh, we're maintaining Foreman Salt. And yeah, we integrated the Debian part in, into Catello and into, into Pulp, which means the, the Pulp dev and the, the Catello part. And uh, we also uh, integrated the Debian errata management into Catello. Um, short hint, there's a, um, there's a nice um, pull request open since several months. Maybe someone wants to review it again. <laughs> and uh, what we also have done is a lot of work into the Ansible modules in the uh, Ansible collection. And uh, yeah, what I told you before is that we, we offer enterprise class support uh, with Ocarino, our downstream product to the foreman. And yeah, what is to come? So we're currently working on another project from the plugin, which we call Foreman Application Centric Deployment. And uh, this plugin is, is used to be able to um, provision several virtual machines from one interface to Foreman and after that to uh, use Ansible playbooks to provision all the, the servers so there, and uh, to build up a, a kind of um, self-service portal for, for the users. Uh, yeah, that's, that's our part. And what's the agenda for today? Um, we'll have some, some information from Melanie about our social event after my my short talk, and uh, then we want to welcome Greg for uh, the overview of the Foreman user survey. 
and uh, Toma for um, yeah the work of making Puppet optional. Um, Maximilian um, talking about contributing to Foreman without writing code, which is interesting. And uh, yeah, Catello and Pal3 uh, from Justin. So how he got there and uh, what Pal3 is going to do for us. And after that, um, I'm looking forward to the social event. And uh, Melanie will give you some more information in some minutes. But um, I want to invite you for uh, Foreman's birthday present. So it's a birthday party and uh, it's the 11th birthday. And we thought that Foreman should, uh, should get a present. And uh, our present would be, we, we want to help to make the world a slightly better place because we noticed that we are, uh, could, can be very happy that we can work remotely and then we can work in IT and that we can earn our money and we are safe and everything like that. And uh, there are some, yeah, some people in our community which are the weakest, it's all the, the children. And uh, we wanted to, um, to don donate some money to a project which is called uh, Save the Children. You can see the uh, the links here below, and uh, you, you might want to go to the ATXDE website, and you can find the link again. Yeah, and we would be very happy if you can uh, donate some money for the performance birthday present in this in this project. So um, thank you very much, and uh, have a great event. And yeah, I want to hand over to, to Melanie to give you an overview about the socializing during this birthday party. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thanks very much. And welcome to everyone who has joined so far. I'm so glad that you could come together uh, to celebrate the foreman's birthday. <laughs> Although it would have been much more fun to be in the same room right now. Part of me is glad to be sitting in a cool home office rather than the extremely warm conference room where we gathered in Nuremberg last year. Coming from Ireland, I have never experienced anything like the German summertime heat. Um, a lot has changed this year. I think 2020 will be a year that we won't forget easily. And I'm very aware that an event like the birthday party is not only about formal talks, but also a place for people to have a range of discussions about what interests them about Foreman. And as online events like this are a brave new world to most of us, we have left some time after the talks finish today where we can meet and have a chat with, with no set agenda. So please join us then. Um, basically, we want to give an opportunity for people to, to introduce themselves, to get to know one another, to talk about the things that they learned about today that interested them, or if they have any general questions or comments about the foreman, just please stick around and um, tell us what you think. Um, tell us, you know, basically just hang out with us. If you want to drink a beer and you don't have to drive, then you're more than welcome to do that as well. And this day, I suppose, we'll look at many of the changes that have happened in the Foreman community and are happening in the Foreman community. And as much as today, we'll, we'll focus on those changes. Uh, Greg Sutcliffe, who is a pillar of the Foreman community and our former community manager, will kick us off by looking at what we can learn from the results of the 2020 Foreman community survey. And I'm very glad that Greg could be with us today, however, for however short a period, because it wouldn't be the same without him in person or formally. And I think that's that's everything from me until later. And if you have any questions, um, there should be time after each of the talks to, to ask. Or if you put them in the chat, I'll make sure they, they get asked. So, Greg, 